we're going to go over just two real simple things, that, but I get asked all the time. So we, we're doing an inspection. What all do I need? What do I have to have done? Common thing is you need a four point. You need a four point for the insurance companies. So I'm going to let Corey explain what exactly is a four point. What's he doing? Hey everybody, so I'm here at an inspection and I'm here with Corey. We'll get him in the picture here. This is Corey with CSS Inspections. So I'm sorry, CCS. I'll get that right one of these days. Anyway, I've been working with Corey for years. Used to be him and his dad and now Corey's doing his own thing. We're going to go over just two real simple things, that, but I get asked all the time. So we, we're doing an inspection. What all do I need? What do I have to have done? Common thing is you need a four point. You need a four point for the insurance companies. So I'm going to let Corey explain what exactly is a four point. What's he doing? All right. So a four point is basically an insurance report. It tells your insurance company that the age and condition of your roof, your electrical, your plumbing, and your HVAC. There you go. Pretty simple. Yeah. Simple. Yeah. It's, a, it's a straightforward form, honestly. Okay. And the other one that we run into a lot is wind mitigation. And that's a separate form. And what does that tell the insurance company? Correct. So the, the wind mitigation is a separate form. That tells your insurance company basically what factors your house has to fight against high winds by hurricanes in Florida. Things they look at is the type of windows. Are they impact rated? Are they wind rated? Things like that. Same with, well, any, any opening, honestly. So front doors, garage doors. And the roof, don't they want to know about the, the They do. Yep. So the, the other big factor is the roof. You know, the, the age of it has to be, you know, basically you get, you would get a credit if it's newer than 2002. And then the big, the big thing they want to know is how the roof is attached to the rest of the building. So are there hurricane clips, single wraps? Is it just toenailed on there? So those are, those are the big things. And last but not least, he, he didn't know I was doing this today. So WDO, first of all, what does that stand for? And what is, what is that real quick? So WDO stands for wood destroying organism. And the, the popular one is or dry wood termites or subterranean termites. But there's, there's others out there. There's bees and ants and all kinds of things that eat wood. And as far as purchasing a home, it's you're just looking for, for things that have damaged the home. Lenders want to know if, if something's eating it, basically. A side note, most home inspectors are not those certified, so you'd have to find somebody that is. But Good point, and a good plot. CCS inspection. Thank you, Corey. I uh, put you on the spot. Hey, so, so that's very briefly, you know, what an inspection entails and what your insurance company might be looking for. I guarantee you need one of those for the VA. We'll talk about this some more. We're going to see Corey in future videos. Thanks for coming over, man. I appreciate it. Get back to work. We'll see you guys on the next one.